guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 77 rated screamer Charlie Masonda. Now, if you don't know already, these cards do get upgraded throughout the year when EA decide to, and when Masonda gets upgraded, he goes to an 83 rated card. Now, all the matches I did play with Masonda were with his 77 rated card, so I can't really, you know, say how good he is when he's an 83 rated card. I can only give my opinion, um, you know, when he's a 77 rated card so anyway guys getting into his first pro now what is his pace this guy is a very fast player as you would expect he has 89 um, sprint speed what is a very good stat um, and it's very you know important stat to have on wingers because you know they need, you need that extra pace to beat defenders on the wing and you know get into the box so they can do those crosses or they can go with the low driven shot across goal so another pro I could find with this card was his dribbling and you know as expected this guy keeps the ball so close to his feet when dribbling and he also has a five star weak foot so we can dribble you know with either foot just as good um, and then the final pro I could find with this card was his agility now this guy's agility is absolutely insane as you can see it's also his key stat there he has 93 agility and just like Inform Mares in um, my review a few days ago I believe this is the most important stat when it comes to scaling just because you know it affects how fast they perform the skill moves so even though Masonda wasn't very good overall, I think he was very good if you enjoy scaling, just because he feels so smooth to skill with because of his high agility. And as you can probably tell from a lot of the clips, he was very fun. And I definitely enjoyed this card. And he also scored quite a lot of uh, really good goals that you will also be seeing a few more in a compilation very, very soon. So now getting into his cons, the first con I could find with this card was his strength. He seemed to get pushed off the ball a lot, but that is very understandable, seeming that he only has around, I think it's 50 or 60 physical, and his strength is around that as well and then as well as this another um, con I could find with him was his finishing and it wasn't that he couldn't finish um, chances it was that he was you know very inconsistent at finishing um, I'd probably say he finishes maybe two or three chances out of ten what isn't a very good conversion rate but then some matches he would go and score like you know ten out of ten chances it's just um you know, it's very inconsistent. I think that's the best way to pull it. So, guys, would I recommend you guys go and get this card? I would say yes, just because, you know, it's a very fun card to use. So, guys, this is going to be the player review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.